In this video, you'll learn how to set up macros within Celeste software. Macros enable you to set up an automated process in which to analyze an image. This is done through recording analysis steps within Celeste software, which then can be recalled and used again. To begin, open an image you wish to analyze. When setting up macros, you want to avoid recording this image opening step in your analysis. Go to the Automate tab and click on the New Project button. Enter a project name and module name, and select the option Recording Target. This will activate this module as the active module when setting up a recording for a macro. Close or minimize the project workbench that will open automatically after creating the new project, and click Record Macro. Enter the name of your macro, and click OK when done. From here on out, all steps you perform within Celeste software will be recorded. You can pause and stop recording using the recording window that is automatically popped up. In this example, we're going to be setting up a macro to perform a count using smart segmentation. First, we'll select the Count and Size tab. From the Measurement Options group, you can load your desired IQO file. This will load previously saved settings into Celeste software. It's recommended that you set up your measurement options and save them as a new IQO file before setting up your macro. If you've not saved the settings file but have started recording your macro, you may pause the macro recording and create one at this point. The settings are now loaded. If we want to make the Smart Segmentation tool interactive so that the object and background can be selected for every image we analyze, click on the Smart Segmentation button in the Segment group. If you'd like the object select step to remain the same for your macro, skip this step. Next, click Count to count the image. If desired, click the Data Table button and then on Excel to have data automatically exported to Excel software when a count is complete. Once you're done setting up your macro, press the Stop Recording button and click Yes to save the recorded macro. View the recorded macro by clicking on the Project Workbench button in Automate. If you'd like to add an interactive step where the user is prompted to perform an action, select the step you want to make interactive and right-click on the Properties box to select Prompt User in the Imaging Workspace. A prompt can then be written in the Prompt field below. Click the Load button to save any changes to your macro. We're now ready to run our macro.